So he reached over and got them two big scoops of butter. Jack looked at it, and he remembered what his mama said. What did his mama say? <laughs> so he put that butter in one pocket, and he put that butter in the other pocket, and he started to walk on home. Well, it was a hot day. It was one of those Mississippi type August hot days. It was one of those hot days where you could see monkeys jumping. Y'all call that yeah. sitting down around here? You could see monkeys jumping. It, you know, it, it was so hot. So as he died, he started walking, that butter started to melt. It started to bruise down his thighs into his over his knees, down his calves, into his ankles, and all you heard was Jack walking like this. Squash, 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 squash. But Jack's mama came outside and said, Jack, boy, come here. Yes, ma'am. You go to work today? Uh-huh. Did you get paid? Uh-huh. Well, where is it at? Uh, well, uh, and his mama gave him a big old slop, right side of the place. Boy, you, your head, she said. You should. Tomorrow when you get paid, whatever you get paid, if it's soft, son, put it in a bucket of water and just carry it home on your head, you yeah? know? Okay, boom. <laughs> so the very next day, old Jack gets up and he finds work working for a rat catcher. Now, he learns how to set traps. He learns how to take a pitchfork and then run all through the barn and push down hay and get all them rats just running all out. They weren't right there, ladies. <laughs> 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 he just learned that he worked so hard that the, the man was so impressed with Jack that he reached down and gave Jack an old Comcast. Oh. Now Jack picked up that cat and he held that cat and he stroked it, he purred. And Jack thought, it is so soft. And you remember what his mama said? His mama said? He put it in the bucket of water and carried it home on his head. So Jack got a bucket of water and he took that cat and he tried as best as he could to put that cat in the water. That cat had turned around and dragged home from his arm and but he kept on walking home. About halfway home, a pack of wild dogs was coming over the heat. Now, little dogs saw that cat. More importantly, that cat's all them dogs. <laughs> yeah. Boom! Took off running. <laughs> Old Jack got to the house, Jack and Mama came outside, boy, come in. Yes, ma'am. By this time, you should be helping me. Did you go to work today? <laughs> uh -huh. Did you get paid? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, where is it at? Uh, <laughs> and his mama gave him a big old what? Slop. Right side of the face. <laughs> Boy, use your head, she said. Use your head. Tomorrow you can be paid whatever you get paid. Just tie a rope around it here and drag it home. <laughs> <laughs> so the very next morning, old Jack gets up and he finds work working for a butcher. <laughs> he learned how to cut meat. He learned how to slice bacon. He made some real thick. Anybody like thick bacon? And, and, and he learned how to make it real thin. Anybody like this? Man? He learned how to how to even do bologna. I mean, he, he learned how to cook up sausage. His boy worked so hard. The man was so impressed that he gave Jack a bone for pay. Well, it wasn't an ordinary bone. It, it had meat on it. So you know called ham. So he looked at that ham hock and he remember what his mama said. What his mama said? I rope around and drag it home. So that's exactly what he did. He went and took it and tied that rope around it and he started dragging that little bone home. It was just going flippy flop, flippy flop, flippy flippy flippy. Going across the bridge, there was a little nail sticking up. Just ripped off about half of that meat. But that jack just kept on going. But my mama would be so proud. So he kept going and by that time he got right where he was with them dogs that come over here the day before. Now them dogs came over the hill again and saw that bone. <laughs> you think they got that bone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jack got the house and he wasn't, didn't have nothing with him but <laughs> Jack and mama came outside and said, Jack, boy, come in. Jack, you yeah, man. You go to work today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you get paid? Mm -hmm. Well, where's it at? Uh, 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 
mama reached out and gave my big old Swap. right side of the face. Boy, you your head. Use your head. Tomorrow when you get paid, whatever you get paid, just put it on your shoulder and carry it home with you. Okay, boy. Well, Jack finds work the next day, working for that first farmer he worked for. He learned how to plow. I don't know if any of y'all have ever plowed, but he learned to plow with a mule. Because I didn't see fields around here, but see, he learned how to really plow. Because they didn't have no such a thing as a tractor back then. So with a mule, you have to learn how to speak mule. Anybody know how to speak mule? Now it's important to speak mule. If you want your mule to go forward, you say this. You say, yep, mule. And that mule will start going forward. You want to stop, you go, whoa, mule. You stop. Now if you need that mule to go back, but you go, whoa, back mule. And that mule will start going back. Now if you need that mule to go right, you say, gee, mule. And that mule will go to the right. You need to go left, ha, mule. And that mule will go to the left. Old Jack learned how to plow. He plowed 40 acres, nice and straight road. And then he went over and plowed another 40 acres. The man didn't even ask him to plow. You know what? He got so excited, he plowed 20 acres of the neighbor's field. He didn't even know what I asked him to do. <laughs> the farmer was so impressed with Jack. He said, hmm. He went out to the barn and got an old mule he wasn't using no more. <laughs> and he gave it for Jack. Now, Jack remember what his mama said. What did his mama say? <laughs> Jack took that mule and took one leg <clears throat> and then he <clears throat> and got that back leg <clears throat> <clears throat> and he started walking home. Now Jack lived in a place where there was a great king. Now this king had land all over the place. In fact, the matter was that Jack's house lived on the, was on the king's land. Now, the king had a daughter. Now, his daughter had never laughed. Can you imagine never laughing? A life, never laughed, never, no, ha, 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 no. Never laughed. The king decided, I want my baby to laugh. So he decided, he had a royal decree, whoever can make my daughter laugh, I will give her a hand in marriage. But guess what? Did nobody show up? He asked his advisors, what's the problem? Nobody's come to, to win her hand. Well, king, how do I put this nicely? The king's daughter? She didn't have any beauty for you to behold. She was ugly. And, and, and so they said, King, well, maybe you should give them a little something else. And King said, well, that's fine. I, I, I'll, I'll give half of my kingdom to whoever can make their life. Well, all of a sudden, men start showing up all over the place. Folks came and juggled. They came and told comedy acts. They came and sang silly songs. They were, I thought I forgot about those Jack <laughs> Well, it just so happened that Jack was coming across where the princess was looking out the window. And all of a sudden, through out the palace, she heard this unusual sound. It went like this. Everybody looked all over the palace trying to figure out what the sound was until they opened the door and there was the princess looking out the window going, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And they went and looked out the window. And there was old Jack carrying his news. Now, the king was very upset because a king is a man of his word. So they went and fetched Jack. Jack, boy, come in. Whoa. You got to come and marry the princess. Uh oh. -uh. <laughs> Why not, Jack? Because she's ugly. <laughs> I know she's ugly, but you can't have the kingdom. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they went and fetched Jack's mom. They fetched the preacher. And they had what we call around these parts a shotgun wedding. <laughs> so the preacher looked over at the princess and said, Princess, do you take Jack to be your husband? And she said, I sure do. Jack, do you take the princess to be your wife? Uh, 
with uh, Mama right there on the front row. She leaned over and I showed you. <laughs> well, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Old Jack and his bride really grew to love each other. They found out something that was very, very important that true love and true beauty does nothing to do with the outside. True beauty is found on the inside. And that princess was the most beautiful woman you could ever know. Jack was so happy. And you know what else? Because he now had half of the king, Jack never had to work another day in his life. <laughs> so that's why we call this story Lazy Jack. <laughs> <laughs>